In the previous session, we created a very simple smart contract called demo that contained only one variable. We also created a simple test file that automated the process of deploying the smart contract and making sure that the proper variable was set in it. Now we will step things up a little by creating more interesting smart contracts and test scripts. The first thing I will do is to open the demo contract from our previous session. Remember, in Truffle, all contracts are stored under the contracts folder. Now I will make the following changes to my code. Instead of pre-assigning the name variable a value upon deployment, I will leave it empty and I will add a function called change name. This function will simply take a string from the user and assign it into the name variable. Having this smart contract, I can think of a few test cases that I want to check. But basically, I'd like to call the change name function a couple of times, and then I'd like to see that the name variable was changed accordingly. So I will go back to my test file, which is of course stored under the test folder in my Truffle project. In here, I will leave all of the parts that deal with the deployment of the smart contract, as well as all of the required commands at the top of the file. But now my process of checking the variables isn't suitable anymore. So I will remove it and redefine it as following. Call the function change name Alice. First, I want to call the function change name that is on the demo contract. I will pass the string Alice into it. Then I will check that the results are not an error type. Pay attention though, while I am using chai and promises to make sure that no error was returned when calling the change name function, it still doesn't necessarily mean that the transaction was properly executed. All that it means is that the results are not an error type. So how can we make sure that our code behaved as expected? Well, luckily in our smart contract, the name variable is set to be public. So I can check to make sure that it contains the string Alice, the string that I have previously inserted. We've already saw how to check the variable name. So I will just call the name method on the demo contract and then I will expect the results as a string to be equal Alice. Now I can take these two steps and I will just repeat them. This time I will try another name just to make sure that the change name function will change the name variable even after it was defined. So now that we have completed our test script, let's see it in action. The test script will deploy the smart contract, call the function change name with the input Alice, make sure that Alice was indeed stored in the variable name, and then it will repeat the process only this time with another name, Bob, just to make sure that the function change name can be called again. So now I will run my test file. First, I will open another terminal and run test RPC in it. Then from within my demo truffle project, I will run the command truffle test. And now I can look here at the bottom and I can see that my code was behaving as expected.